We are right behind uh, Montmartre. It's Montmartre, but without tourists, it's very authentic. A lot of local businesses. So the apartment is at the last floor. So you have a nice view, a lot of light. And uh, you're in the middle of a quite dense area. So with all the benefits, like uh, local businesses. So as you see, uh, it's not a bourgeois uh, building. It it's very simple. Uh, in the past, it used to be cheap housing, but now a small apartment here is very expensive, but in the past, it, it wasn't like this. So welcome inside. So we have to imagine that we totally reorganized the apartment. Uh, everything was different here was the entrance and a small bathroom. Here was a, a bedroom and the kitchen was over there. The main idea was to bring more space for the living room because before the living room, it was half of this room. And, and we created an additional bedroom. This is the children's bedroom. The idea was because we have a very small room and we have to create three beds and a lot of storage. So we include all the program inside this whole furniture. We create a um, bookcase that includes three beds, one here, one here and one there, and a lot of storage. Each side has its own uh, chef to put whatever he wants and uh, a personal light. It was important not to stay too much uh, serious, so there are a lot of holes. Some, it's like a window, a small window. Some other, is a create a kind of ladder. So you go up, up to your bed, and you have your cabin, your hut, and uh, it's perfect spot, you know. Yeah, there are three beds in this bedroom, but each side has its own privacy with its own light up. I'm quite tall, I'm one meter and 86 centimeter, but I feel very comfortable inside. It's not, it's not claustrophobic, uh, it's very comfy. comfy and you can sit up, actually. Yeah, actually, yeah. So as a kid, you could play in there if yeah. you wanted. And this, if you want to say hello to someone, you just have to uh, yeah, do the hello and that's it. So in a way, it's almost like three little bedrooms within a bedroom. Exactly. When I was a child, I remember that I, I, used, to, I, I used to like to be with my friends or with my brothers during holidays. You know, it was nice. You, you, can, uh, you can talk uh, during the night. You can tell stories, etc. But it's nice too to have your own privacy. So that's what we try to bring here. Some privacy, but some fun too. So they can uh, do some uh, betis. I don't know. <laughs> Get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, we created three uh, bedrooms inside a, a small bedroom. The respiration you, you have, you can think about uh, capsule hotel in Tokyo. Uh, you can also think about um, cabin, uh, uh, selling cabin or also something less known, but it's, uh, it's a very good example. In Brittany, uh, west of France, it's quite cold during winter, and the, in the old house in the past, they used to create some uh, wardrobe um, bedroom uh, to stay warm. Wardrobe bedroom? Yeah, so you, if you want to stay warm, you open the, the closet, and you have, a, you have your bed inside, and it's the best way to stay warm during the winter. How do you French wardrobe bedroom? Un lit placard. Ouais. So here, this is the shelf. You can switch on or switch uh, off uh, the light. Inside it's white, but we try to, to bring some color. So this is blue with some raspberry pink to stay in the universe of childhood. What's the material? Alors, it's MDF. MDF, this is oak, but mainly it's MDF. 
So there is a kind of two uh, beams that go from here from there to there. And uh, there is a woodwork to, to be more comfortable to when you go up. And if I don't like to be upstairs, I, I can be downstairs. The older one sleep here. And I guess here it's the youngest the youngest one, which has a lot of stuff, uh, animals, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he really filled his face. <laughs> yeah. So this one is the big uh, windows, it's also the entrance, but here I try to make it different. Mm -hmm. So here you have a small window, yeah. if you want to talk, if you want to give a, a toys, you just have to do like this. If you want to go to sleep, switch off the lights and just go to sleep. And it, is no, it's not messy because we, they have a lot of storage. So, and if they have a friend, it's also designed to be able to put a mattress inside. So if you have two friends, you can uh, open the drawer and put a mattress and uh, invite a friend. So it will be a five bedroom inside this furniture. Wow, so you could leave yeah. like a trundle bed. Yeah, a exactly, exactly. And here there is a hang, yeah. The handles are nice. Yeah, it's made of cork. What is nice in this apartment is there is a courtyard. And the apartment is all around the courtyard, uh, like a merry-go-round. This is the bathroom. Okay. It used to be the kitchen, here too. Now uh, this is the parents' bedroom. So, in a way, you've lost almost all hallways because, you know, you now are using those spaces, right? Yeah. yeah. That's why it allows yeah. us to create an additional bedroom. So, here is a good spot to, to read. You have a nice view above uh, the rooftop. But uh, you've taken what was really just kind of a window and some storage and made it into space. Yeah. You have storage here and there, and you can put some books. I tried to, to create some furniture that is not only about storage, but also to create some space inside. I like cocoon, like uh, the one we designed for the kids. I wanted the parents to have their own cocoon, so they can read and they can uh, enjoy the view, which is pretty nice. Like in every fairy tale, you have uh, secret passages, so... You yeah. stepped out of the bookcase. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a secret passage, like, like in uh, every castle, you have some secret passages. And uh, yeah, we, we hide the entrance uh, to the bedroom uh, inside the, the bookcase. It's kind of graphic uh, shelves. So this used to be the, the parents' bedroom. For me, uh, it's more important to have a, a nice living room and the bedroom is more like a cocoon when you want some privacy. When you are tired, you just go to the bedroom. So this is, it used to be a bathroom and we transform it into a kitchen. And we designed this uh, glass door to bring more light from the courtyard into the kitchen. Uh, and so, you know, when you, when you want to close the, the, the kitchen, it doesn't remove the light. This room was quite complicated to work on it because uh, it's full of angles. It's a triangle uh, room. It was very hard to set up the kitchen, yeah. but yeah, we made it. Why is that? Because before it was bathroom plumbing? Actually, or yeah, there was a bathroom. Like half of the kitchen was a bathroom, and the rest of the room, it was a new space. It was hallways. It was, the, the space was not optimized. And once again, you have a nice view on the roofs. There's views everywhere. Mm. It's really amazing. Yeah. It's worth the six flights. Yeah. <laughs> this is the last floor, typical Parisian last floor. So you have a, like we call a Mossa roof, which is uh, a bit, uh, you know, it's not uh, straight, it's like, a, it's oblique from here. And uh, this is the top floor, so you can enjoy the view. Almost Simon Mat from here. You are really in the middle of the city. But you are above, uh, you are not annoyed by the, by the noise. Or, uh. <laughs>